Oh, you straight, you straight. How you been? I'm fine. How you been? I'm good, man. Um, I see you dropped the song, man. What's up? Cutting up. How that came about? I did. Um, that was basically just talking, you know, saying what I got to say. Basically about how I feel about certain people. So I like, okay, okay. So when you recorded it? Um, like three weeks ago. Matter of fact, it was like September fifth. September fifth. Okay. So like, so who the other girl on the song is? Um, it it was only me on that song. On the first song, it was my friend, my homegirl on the first song. But the last two songs, it was just me. Oh really? Okay. Okay. So who shot the video for y'all? Um, this um boy named Luke May from Columbia. Oh word, that's dope. That's dope. I like the video. I thought it was cool though. Uh who challenger that is? That's yours? No, that's my friend challenger. I have a um Chevy Malibu. Twenty eighteen Chevy Malibu. Okay, okay. So, yeah. What was it like recording yourself for like the first time? At first, I thought I was going to be real scared, but I wasn't when I got there. It was fun. We had fun. And, like, the person who was recording us and taking our pictures, they was cool. They was down to earth. So, it was, like, real fun. We was laughing most of the time. So, was it, like, weird hearing yourself, like, play it back when you had to hear it with the headphones on and shit? No, because, actually, I started rapping, like, in January. So, I was kind of used to it by then. By the time I did tell people, like, I was already used to it. Did any of the directors try to holler at you? Oh, no. I they don't think so. They were professional? <laughs> yeah. We was, we was chilling. Like, everybody was chilling. We was joking. We was laughing. We was playing. And what was the location at? Did I ask you that already? What was the location at? No, it was at um a bar on Two Notch Grill. Two Notch Bar and Grill, actually. Oh, that's the trenches down there, two nights. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You said on okay on two nights on two nights. Okay, okay. So it looked like it was like in a building. It was you said a bar. It looked like it was like a garage type shit. It was a club. It's a club actually. Oh, for real? Yeah. So how much? You, so how much you charged for the, like how much you paid for the video shoot and all that? The video was like three fifty. I want to say. Rex. <laughs> no, actually, it's a lot of people charge way more than that, like five hundred, six hundred. Why you didn't get the discount? Why you didn't get the pretty girl discount? I thought women the pretty, the privilege, <laughs> the privilege. Women, you privilege. know, business is business, so I ain't tripping. You, you didn't want to mix it like that, is what you are saying? Mm -hmm. Business is business. It was just business. Okay. I mean, I thought the song was cool, though. I thought the song was a uh, cool song, though. Like, so, like, why you say you want to retire? You had telling me, like, you know what? I want to I wanna quit rapping. Like, why you want to quit? Yeah, because I feel like I'm not, I don't, I'm a private type of person. Like, I don't like everybody in my life, in my business. I don't like people thinking they know me. And it's like, I'm not used to that. Like, I don't like clout. Even though I had it by default, I don't like attention like that. I don't like love. I feel like just to make it, like, that's what you got to have. So you say you got clout by default. Like, what you mean by default? Like, I always been popular. I always had, like, everybody think they know me. Like, oh, that's lady, lady, lady. Like, no. Like, I don't know. I never tried to be. I'm just cool. I'm just a cool person. So it's just like, you know, I never wanted to be popular. I'm quiet. Like, if I'm not used to you, if I if I didn't grow up around you, like, I don't know you, not my family, I'm really not going to talk. So, it's just like, you know. So, you like an introvert, pretty much. Pretty much. Basically, yeah. Man, you know, I mean, you'd be surprised, though, like, a lot of singers and rappers are really introverted, but they just get on stage and they just, they just hit the switch. Like, they just, they got like a switch. Yeah, and, and it's like, Nowadays, it's crazy because I see, like, rappers dealing with it all the time. Like, 
they get aggravated because fans be going crazy on them. They be dashing them. It's like people changing their body, their face, and everything just because of the way everybody got something to say like about everything that you do. And people always try to say, like, focus on the love, the support. But it's like nobody want nobody talking about them all day. Especially now when it's, like, hundreds and thousands of people. Like, no. I mean, people were talking about, I believe, uh, Young Miami. talking about how she rap, saying she trash, saying she wag. Yeah, always. They always they always on her. I feel like that's, if that's her flow. That's her style. Like, she don't got to change that made her like she made she made it doing that so like i mean you always gonna have people that like you and people that dislike you though you know that's the rule of thumb you're gonna have five people that like you and five people who hate you so right definitely but it's different when you when you just trying to live your regular life and you got the world like just trying to be in your life trying to judge you talking about everything you do it's different i feel like you have to have that type of mindset before to really be like strong with that mindset, like okay, I don't care what nobody say, I'm not getting bothered, like I'm not getting moved, I'm not to that point yet, like I'm not as bad as I used to be, but I'm not to the point where I could just let everything slide. That's not me. I've never been the type of person like somebody can say something, and I'm gonna just be like, okay, but no. And so you if you feeding into that, like it's 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 you know. So you care about what people think? I not too much, not not really. I don't. I wouldn't say I care about what they think because I don't. It's just like I'm not gonna let nobody play with me. Like if you say something about me, I gotta check you. I feel like I have to, and I don't want to have that mentality. So if I feel like somebody don't, they don't like me, they got something negative to say, they out of here. Like you're not coming around me. You're not on my social media. None of that. Like I just don't want that type of energy. But I feel like when you, you know, your accounts got to be public, anybody, everybody on your page trying to be in your business, I don't like that. Is that kind of annoying, though, like uh, being popular or whatever, like, you know? Yeah, being popular is so annoying. Like, people, it's like people be obsessed with your life, and you're like, wow. And they'll make up anything just to say something about you, like anything. So when people make comments, did people make comments about your song, though? Like, negative comments about it? No, not that. I seen, like, it was a bunch of people who was like, okay, I like it. You know what I'm saying? I support it. You know, it was a bunch of support that I got that I didn't expect to get. But, you know, I didn't see no negative, no negative um comments or anything about it from nobody. But, I mean, of course, people probably did say something negative. But they just ain't say it, you know what I'm saying? Like, they probably just ain't say it to me or in public. They said it in private. You feel like a lot of people say, like, never comments on social media behind a computer screen or their phone because they're scared to say it to people's face? Yeah, I actually just said that um, a couple of days ago. Like, I can have people say almost anything to me behind a phone or, or through social media. But in person, they ain't gonna do that. No. So like, what, like, what are the negative comments you've been hearing on social media lately? Like, people been clapping at you. At me or at other people? At you or other people or in general? Nobody don't. They know how to feel me. You think people scared of you? I know people scared of me. That's why I don't fight no more. Like, why, why are people scared of you? Though? Like, who's the reason why they scared of you? Like. Because your background, who you know, or? Because of who I used to, I used to fight all the time. So, it's like, I don't have no point to prove. It's like, proven. But, I mean, it would probably be like little slick shots, and like, but it's nothing direct. It would be like subliminals? Yeah. Nothing yeah. direct. Not to me. Yeah, also, um, I remember BBC did, like, a documentary on uh, OW, uh, like, mm -hmm. three, two, three years ago, I believe four years ago. Thank like, you. Uh, how it felt to be a part of that? 
I mean, I really wasn't a part of that because, I mean, I was, but I wasn't because I left um, OW my senior year because I got in a fight my 11th grade year, like, in my 11th grade year. So I had to switch schools. Okay. What school you had to switch to? I went to Estill High School. Really? So it was like, how bad was the fight at OW for everybody watching? I mean, at OW, it's, it's different. Like, that's, I kind of feel crazy when people was judging us, like, oh, y'all animals, y'all crazy, y'all this, y'all that, because they not understanding. Like, we going to school with, most of our fights, like, it was because somebody was jealous, or it was because somebody ain't like one of my friends, or something like pettiness, but mainly because people was jealous. And they they gotta understand like we going to school with people who live in poverty, people who mama probably they lights off, probably they only eating at school, like they probably wearing the same clothes every week, you know what I'm saying? So they already coming to school mad. So any little thing like that's gonna trigger them, they're gonna try to bully somebody else or they gonna wanna fight somebody else. And at OW, I feel like you either gonna step or you're gonna be stepped on, like if you don't stand up for yourself, they're going to take over. Man, yeah, and I was like, I was having a conversation with somebody about that the other yeah. day. I was like, man, I seen the documentary, and I was like, man, this shit crazy. Like, I feel like they could have been deeper than what they really was, because really, I feel like that was just soft. Like, they weren't really showing the public what really going on behind those schools. Like, you know, you got, like, a lot of people to get pregnant quick there, like teenage pregnancies. People yeah. on drugs, like you know, like that, like everything what you said though. So you feel like they made like, the work. Basically, and like yeah, I was I got pregnant early too, and it was like I did I didn't like um I didn't lose my virginity until I got in ninth grade, and it was actually like the end of ninth grade, but it was basically like a prayer pressure type of thing. Like everybody was like, "Oh, you still a virgin?" Like da 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 da, you know what I'm saying? And then it just. I just ended up being that one because I, I really didn't know. So it was like, yeah. But, you know, everybody take different situations different. I feel like me getting pregnant, it kind of calmed me down a lot because I was, I didn't care about nothing. So when I got pregnant, like, that's when I started just kind of chilling, like, okay, you can't be doing this. You can't be wilding out. I ain't know. But, yeah, definitely. People go through a lot at LW, and they not, they didn't really try to explain that part of it, like how we grew up and what we had to deal with and why we was fighting like that. I, it was yeah. a lot of angry kids. Yeah, I just felt like it was just a bunch of white people or whatever just trying to market off black people, like always, but they didn't go into yeah. detail. Like, like Team Mom, I was talking to somebody the other day, like Team Mom, for example, I don't know if you watch that show, and they just always go to white kids and white a suburban white neighborhoods with rich white folks on a high middle class, but they never go to the people who are in Section 80 who are really poor, taking food stamps and working two or three jobs on the system. They don't, they, don't, they don't go in them pipes. They don't go in that environment. So I feel like they kind of just dressing it up for social media or for TV. Definitely. And it's, and it's crazy because I feel like when they did the OW documentary, we got the most backlash from our own race, like, our own community, they had so many negative things to say, but nobody really tried to see, like, why these kids acting like that? Why they feel the way they feel? Like, everybody just got something to say, but nobody doing nothing that's helpful. So wow. it was a no for me. So how was it, like, for the teachers, though, like, during that time, like, after the, when it came out of while they was filming, like, you know, like, what was their mindset like? Yeah, okay, they got cameras everywhere. Like, were people kind of like acting for the cameras, or kind of was it like really genuine? A lot of people was aggravated with the cameras. Honestly, like nobody want no cameras in their face all day, and especially like when you really going through life and you really got real life problems going on. Nobody want no camera in their face. This not a this not a show. Like nobody, you know, this is real life. So, yeah, it's like annoying. I wouldn't want nobody in my face at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did you know some of your friends that was on the um that had got some of the spotlight that they were doing interviews with them? 
yeah. Pretty much all of us grew up together, so yeah. Yeah, that's another thing though. Orangeburg's so small. So yeah. You pretty much grew with everybody since you was in kindergarten. Like kindergarten, pre K. Yeah. <laughs> So you may not know them personally, but you know about them so much and so well. So y'all pretty right. much know each other from y'all whole life and shit, though. Um, exactly. So that, that's another thing. Um, I mean, I, I thought the documentary was good in a sense, but I just feel like they could have pushed, like, the envelope more. Um, right, like, the purpose of it, like, they just basically try to make the school look crazy. Yeah, yeah, they was, like black folks look crazy on that. How many stu how many students go to a W though, like when you was attending? But they say that's a real big school though. Yeah, um I know when I came in my freshman year, it was like five hundred freshmen. God, that and just then crazy. like Yeah, so then like but you know, maybe I feel like because some people was there already and they kind of, you know, was classified as a freshman. So some of them really didn't count. They was, they but, was yeah, they, they, they failed the graders and shit? Yeah. Oh, you had so, the super seniors. The super seniors. Yeah, <laughs> basically. So I felt like that's how it was. But, I mean, it was it's a lot of students. And it was a lot of us. Like, when I went to the, my other high school, it was only, like, 50 people in my senior class. I was not used to that. Like, I went from a real big school to a real small school. Like, they only got two hallways. It was they said definitely... It was like, I heard it was, like, going to LW, there was, like, 3,000 kids or some shit. Um, yeah, wow. I believe it. You got to think, though, that makes sense because the whole city of Orangeburg goes to... Basically go there. Yeah. Um, basically, all of us. It was a lot of it was a lot of people. You be like people would fight for respect doing shit. Like they ain't had nothing else, so they were like, "Fuck it, I'm poor, I'm broke, I'm already hungry, but I'm gonna I'm gonna somebody gonna respect me though, so we gonna get into this shit." I feel like yeah, some people did that. I feel like some people was just like, "Why, why she got this? Or why he got that? I want this, I want that. I ain't got it, so I'm gonna bully them." You know what I'm saying? When when me when it came to me, it was a uh, like, you just ain't finna play with me type of thing. And I was small, so I was going, anytime somebody even thought they was going to step to me, like, I was going to fight because I was small. And I'm like, nah, y'all not about to try to do that because I'm little. But, yeah, like, some people, they had different reasons why they wanted to fight. I just, I just never been the type of person, like, to be jealous of nobody or hating on nobody, no matter what I came from or what I got or don't got. But everybody not like that. Everybody not raised like that. Yeah.